hi guys in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how we can fix this you know message uh, that is you know mobile or cellular network not available on Android phones okay so I have you know a couple of methods and you can try that out and let's see if this fixes your issue or not okay so uh, method one uh, we have is you have to remove you know the battery and the sim card okay just switch off your phone and remove the battery and the sim card okay and after you know uh, after that you need to insert the battery and sim card after you know three or four minutes and just start your phone and let's see if this fixes your issue or not okay so suppose guys you know this you know method one doesn't you know uh, works out for you then you can try this method too so you have to select your mobile network manually okay so in order to do that you have to go to the you know the settings of your phone and just tap on mobile networks and just tap on network operators okay so def by default it is you know set up to you know automatic so you just need to you know, select it your mobile network manually okay so as you can see it's searching okay so just tap on your mobile network and uh, just tap on it as you can see registering on idea whatever in your case in your company okay as you can see that uh, registered on network okay guys so after that you need to uh, restart your phone and uh, let's see if this you know fixes your issue or not okay so suppose guys you know the method two you know does it work for you then you can try this method three okay so you have to do you know those just check it if there is you know software update available for your you know device or not okay so you just need to tap on the settings of your phone and just go you know this about this you know about you know about phone and just tap on software update and let's uh, check for update if updates are available you just need to install it and let's see if this fixes your issue or not okay so guys uh, suppose you know the updates are not available or if you have updated uh, the you know problem still exists okay so you can try this method for that is you know the factory data reset okay so but in most of the cases it fixes you know the issue I don't recommend it but uh, if you know in worst cases if this you know doesn't fixes your issue then you can just you know do a factory data reset okay so before doing this you have to take you know the backup of your phone so so in order to to do a factory data reset you just need to tap on settings and uh, you have to find your backup and reset just tap on it and just take you know the backup of your you know device okay and after you're done taking backup just tap on factory factory data reset and just tap on this reset phone okay and let's see if this fixes your issue or not okay guys so uh so that's it for this video you can try that out and please let me know in the comment section whether it fixes your issue or not uh so thanks for watching and uh, i will catch you in my next videos bye bye take care